Good afternoon, everyone. We are here to discuss about broiler. First, we have to talk all about the overview of the broiler industry. Objectives. What is broiler? Describe the life cycle of broilers. Describe the history of broilers. Explain the importance of broiler production industry. Name at least three top producing broiler industry and latest trends of broiler industry. What is broiler? Broiler meat refers to the type of a chicken that is produced for a sole purpose of meat from our farm to the market and to our table. Broiler life cycle. They are born in a hatchery and move to a grow-out farm for a one-day-old. Chicken are kept until they are six weeks old or heavy enough to be slaughtered and then ready for production or ready for a market distribution processes. History of Broilers U.S.-based commercial broiler production started at 1920s. The efforts to genetically improve commercial stocks didn't begin in the earliest until the 1940s. And it would be the another 20 years before independent sale of this bird was in common. Then, in the early 1960s, the global distribution of broiler meat has been growing globally. Post-World War II, consumers interested in fully processed and frozen bird, most importantly the United States. In the early 1970s to 1980s, Americans began eating more poultry products. In recent years, this growth has occurred in developing countries, for example, is the Philippines. Importance of broiler production industry. Broiler has the ability to produce high-quality products for a tow market. Economics, fast-growing broiler Chicken of many factories may have contributed to the efficiency and economic of broiler production. Broiler meat is popular because it is cheaper, more versatile, and it is perceived to give more health benefits than red meat. It is dynamic. Stop producing countries. Japan topped the list of broiler meat importers in 2019. Brazil and the United States are the two top exporters of broiler meat in the world. Broilers production industry companies provided raw materials, distributions, and the processing. Global broiler trends. The world broiler industry increasingly faced pressure to improve its production method with consumers and government citing health, environment, and animal welfare as the areas of improvement. The broiler housing and equipment industries continues to develop introducing new technologies in line with trends in modern management, communication, ventilation sy- system. And that's all. Thank you. Breeding flux. Breeding flux means a flux that produces progeny to be used for egg or meat production or for establishing, continuing, or improving genetic lines of poultry. Broiler breeders are the parent stock of broiler chickens. It then reviews the major welfare issues related to the management of broiler breeders, including feed and water restriction, cessation and potential for management strategies to have transgenerational effects. That's all, thank you. Different breeds of broiler by Mark Anthony Bayona. There are many different breeds of broilers. We have Cornish Cross, most common type of breed. It is a cross of the white rock and Cornish chickens. Male Cornish white rock crosses weight about 4.5 pounds by the age of 6 weeks while female grow more slowly, weight approximately 2.5 pounds at 5 weeks old. Origin native at United States of America, color white, temperament, calm. The next one is Roddy Island Red. It's an American dual purpose chicken breed, originated at United States of America. And the size of Roddy Island is 6.5 to 8.5 pounds. Color is dark red. How should I chicken? Standard wheat cock is 3.5. 8 kg and well, standard wheat hen is 2.9 kg and originated at Massachusetts and the characteristics is possesses a deep broad body, well feathers, rapidly color just not red and next one is Plymouth Rock standard wheat cock is 4.5 kg standard wheat hen 3.5 kg origin at America, color is red and white, 
and characteristics long body single comb grayish white plumage black bars and the last one is chanticleer chicken originally developed in canada in 1900 by crossing a dark cornish white leg horn ruddy island white wyan dot and a white plymouth rock color is white and the size of of uh, chanticleer cock is 8.5 pounds while hen is 6.5 pounds it is a dual purpose can be used as meat and egg production boiler housing first free range system free range system is a method of farming house boundary where the animals for at least part of the day can room freely outdoors rather than being confined in enclosure for 24 hours each day. Second, semen intensive system. Semen intensive system are commonly used by small scales, scales producer and are characterized by having one or more pens in which the birds can forage or naturally vegetation and insects to supplement the feed supply. Third, Deep litter system. Deep litter system is a broiler housing system based on a repeated spreading of straw and sawdust materials in indoor boats. An initial layer of litter is spread for the broiler to use the for the beading materials and to defecate in. As the litter is soiled, new layer of litters are continuously added by the farmer. 4. Slated or wire floor system. Slated or wire floor system are small houses with slated wire mesh floor with 2.5 seam wide and 2.5 apart running through the length of the house. 5. Combination of slated floor and deep litter. Slated either than side of the house against each side while leaving centered portion for the litter floor. 6. Cage system. Recreating of poultry and raised wire netting floor is smaller compartment called cage. Initially introduced for individual eggs and pedigree recording and calling poor layer. Suitable for keeping high density of birds. When space limitation, scientific management practices can be allowed. 7. Modern housing system. In, in, in recent years, most poultry operation cretins type house with environment controlled house in which condition are maintained as near as the bird optimum requirement. These are the principles of housing. Selection of site housing design, housing environment, housing equipment, housing space, light, housing hygiene and annotation, and biosecurity. Um, good afternoon everyone, uh, my name is John Ray uh, The topic for, uh, My topic for today is about boiler feeding and nutrition. Boiler chickens require a high protein diet from a complete meat bird feed to reach market. Uh, this is because uh, rolling chickens are growing in popularity because they are quick and easy to raise. Uh, the poultry industry greatly affects the economy of the Philippines. The growth of the poultry industry in the Philippines has indeed has been impressive. Uh, next, uh, willow chicken is in child. Willow chickens are uniquely bred for fast growth and finish and the most popular breeds are the Cornish Rock and Cornish Cross. These breeds are great and converting feed. Converting feed. Converting feed into muscle weight. Typically, they are raised to approximately six pounds and processed between six and eight weeks of age. Hello. Boiler feeding. Um, weeks one to three during this time follow similar management to layer check. Um, uh, 
provide to two to four inches of feeder space and up to two square feet of um, floor space per check. Um, weeks for processing, move boiler to heated cough to provide more space. Provide 6 to 10 inches of feeder space and at least 4 square feet and space for chicken. Uh, always keep food and water in front of the birds while they are growing. Meat birds are not uh, agile as they manure. Clean the brother and cook daily more often than wood with layer bread. What to feed boiler chickens? Boiler chicken can triple their heart weight in the first seven days and gain as much as 1.5 to 2 pounds in the last weeks. Boiler should be fed a high protein diet to help support this rapid growth. Boiler nutrition, freshly dressed and frozen native chicken meat uh, samples contain 20-21% to protein and 3.7% fat with raw and 27-27.5% to protein and 4.2-5.3% to, uh, 4 to when cooked. And that's all, the end of boiler feedings and nutrition. Thank you. So good afternoon everyone. Now I will be discussing brooding and its management practices. So brooding is simply giving care and attention to the chicks to support their health and environment. So brooding is where the chicks are hatched until they can be on their own without any heat. So brooding is classified into two. The natural brooding and artificial brooding. Natural brooding is the traditional brooding where the hen are the one who provide all the warm required by the chicks. Artificial brooding is handling of newly born chicks without the aid of hens. So, it is the most used classification in, to, in poultry production. So, the following are the brooding management. So, first is identifying the location and direction of brooding house. So, it must be with the fresh air and the sunlight should not be directly enter to the poultry house. So, housing, um, broilers need to house in a clean and dry environment to have a proper growth. Another is temperature. Um, broiler must have an equal temperature. If they are too cold, they will become chilled and uncomfortable and will not eat or drink. If they are too hot, they will become dehydrated. So next is lighting, uh, which is necessary in poultry farming because it increases uniformity, plug conversion, and bird weight, which is very important. Next is ventilation. Poor ventilation results in accumulation of carbon monoxide and am ammonia and wet litter condition that can affect its growth and development. So next is um, space. Um, having enough space prevents crowding that can cause damages to the chicks. So it is important to have a large area of um, inbreeding. Next is water availability. It is important to have enough of water to reduce deaths due to dehydration. And lastly, the feeding boilers must be provided proper nutrition for optimum performance to result. So having a Breeding management and following its practices can help uh, the chicks to have a proper growth and development and it, it will be more beneficial to the farmers. Successful breeding practices are key to achieving profitable broiler production and assuring the welfare of the flock. Harvesting At what age broiler harvested? Meat broiler usually slaughtered at approximately 4 to 7 weeks of age. Well before, they become sexually reproductive at 5 to 6 months of age. These are broiler production process. Grandparent breeder flocks, breeder flocks, laying farm, broiler, slaughter area, cleaning and chilling, evacuation, inspection by the Department of Agriculture, testing, second processing, marketing, distribution, and table. That's are the broiler production process. Next topic is all about biosecurity. Biosecurity refers to a measure aimed of preventing the introduction and spread of harmful organisms to animals and plants in order to minimize the risk of transmission of infectious diseases. Biosecurity measures 
or broiler establishment. Suitable isolated geographical location is recommended for or the prevention of poultry stress. Proper nutrition and management is for the good practices and maintenance sa paghatag nila sa insakto nga oras sa mga pagkaon o sa tubig. Adequate drainage for the site is for the cleanliness, maintenance, are, and for a proper waste disposal. All personnel should have assist to basic training in biosecurity and understanding about implications of broiler health, human health, and food security. So, need nila nga na training para in case of emergency, ma-address nila kung unsa ang needs sa ato ang broilers. All establishments should have feed storage, personal changing, sanitary facilities, incubation, and hatching. So, need na to siya para ma-prevent ang, ang pagsulod sa bagong mga pest or sa mga bacteria nga, po, nga possibility nga ang carrier is ang mga rodent or, and other mga cockroaches, mga other pest. As part of biosecurity measures, sick, injured, and disabled birds should be separated from healthy bird and should be given necessary veterinary treatment. So, mo ni siya para dapat ka nang before gali mag ka nang enter sa poultry area. So, dapat naatay proper hygiene, naka-gloves, naka, naka-quarantine bat para dili kita ang ma- pas dili kita ang mahimong query year sa mga disease and th- that's all thank you and good